when I tell you, you can resolve any problem that you have with this method, any doubts that you're having, any fears, body, like health problems, whatever it is that you want. If you want a new house, if you want a new car, if you want just to be, get out of depression, be happy and healthy, whatever it is that you want, this is how you're going to get it. It is law. It cannot fail. It cannot be any other way. Whatever is impressed in your subconscious mind produces in your outer reality. What if you could impress your subconscious to manifest anything that you desire in three days? I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in today's video, so keep on watching. Hello, my loves. Welcome back to the channel. First of all, I wanted to say a huge, 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 huge thank you. We just hit 600,000 subscribers. I can't even imagine what 600,000 people gathered together looks like. So I wanted to thank every single one of you for being here, whether you have been with me from the start or have just recently joined. I love you so, so much. I still remember the days when this just seemed so far off and so impossible and so like how the freak will this ever happen and here we are just a little note to never give up on your dreams because they will happen whether it takes a year two years three years a decade whatever it is going to happen also if you're new to the channel welcome don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell right next to it so you get notified whenever i post a new video give this video a like right now seriously i'm just gonna wait for you to like this video okay it helps this knowledge to get out to more people also if you've been loving my videos and you want to be part of a community where we where i go much more in depth about manifestation nervous system work subconscious reprogramming limitless is the best place where you could be on the internet okay um, because we talk about so many things. We have a book club. It's our community. It's amazing. I will link it down below every year, uh, every year, every month. I release a new masterclass. We have live calls in there where you can get coached by me. If you want to be cracked open to receive all of your deepest desires and release any resistance that you have, I will link them with list down below. I also have a special discount code for you guys. So check that out in the description box and let's jump right into the video so the reason i titled this video manifest in three days or, or less is because it has worked for me so many times and literally for me oftentimes it just works in 24 hours like literally the next day if you manage to do this in the correct way it will happen this was what neville goddard has taught um his people with the ladder exercise. So if you don't know about this, he basically in the Wilshire Ebro in the Wilshire Ebro Theater, he taught when he was giving he, his seminars, he taught the people that um, were watching to fall asleep in the assumption, right? To fall asleep with the wish fulfilled. Why? why are we doing this during sleep because during sleep your subconscious is wide open and let me tell you something about the subconscious we all know this okay this is nothing new but your subconscious mind cannot help your subconscious mind has to prove in your outer circumstances in your reality whatever gets planted in it okay it will bring about whatever it gets but it is a law it cannot fail it cannot be any other way whatever is impressed in your subconscious mind produces in your outer reality so what neville goddard did was he made people um visualize climbing a ladder the ladder exercise so they basically had to envision themselves climbing a ladder with all their physical senses before going to sleep what he then did is he asked them to even during the day say i will not climb a ladder today i will not climb a ladder today i will not climb a ladder today which is so funny because even though they were saying these affirmations that i will not climb a ladder they still ended up climbing a ladder because they had impressed their subconscious mind with climbing a ladder and most of them didn't even realize it until they were at the top of the ladder or halfway up and they were like oh my gosh i'm actually climbing a ladder right now and his reasoning was you just did this 
with a ladder. You could have done the exact same thing with a million dollars. So this is so powerful. Whenever I need like a quick fix or a quick change in something, this is what I do, except I do it a little differently than Neville Goddard. I add something to make it more powerful. I'm gonna share this with you in a second. First, I wanted to, I've been reading one of my favorite books. Again, I started reading this like over 10 years ago uh, when I was like in my early 20s. That's the first time that I read The Power of the Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy and I love rereading certain books because they're just, every time you reread them, there's like something new that you, that you find in the book. He actually talks about the exact same thing that Neville Goddard talked about. I'm pretty sure he knew about Neville Goddard. And here's the key to making this powerful because I know a lot of people are like, oh, it didn't work for me. That's okay. Some of the things that I did at night, you know, like states akin to sleep, happened like nine months later. But they still happen to the very detail that I did it. Um, most of them happen in less than three days for me. So just don't give up. Even if it doesn't happen, don't give up. So here's what I'm just gonna read this here. Here's what Joseph Murphy says. Joseph Murphy in his book says, never try to compel the subconscious mind to accept your idea by exercising willpower. Such attempts are doomed to failure and you get the opposite of what you prayed for. Because I had a lot of questions on my channel. It's like, oh, I'm trying to manifest something and I manifested the exact opposite. It's probably because you're trying too hard. And then you create resistance and that cre res resistance create the opposite of what you want. Such attempts are doomed to failure and you get the opposite of what you pray for. The following is a rather common experience. Students when taking examinations and reading through their papers find that all their knowledge has suddenly deserted them. Their minds become appalling blanks and they are unable to recall one relevant thought. The more they grit their teeth and summon their, the powers of the will, the further the answers seem to flee. But when they have left the examination room and the mental pressure relaxes, the answers they were seeking float tantalizingly back into their minds. Trying to force themselves to remember was the cause of their failure. This is an example of the law of reverse effort whereby you get the opposite of what you asked or prayed for, okay? This is crucial. The conflict of desire and imagination must be reconciled. Matthew 18, 19 says, if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them. Who are these two? It means the harmonious union or agreement between your conscious and subconscious on any idea, desire, or mental image. Okay, this is so powerful. This is crucial. He then goes on to say that you avoid all conflict between your desires and imagination by entering into a drowsy, sleepy state, which brings all effort to a minimum. State to to sleep, sats. We all know what sats are. The conscious mind is submerged to a great extent when in a sleepy state. This is why hypnosis is so effective and people have been able to stop addictions with uh, hypnosis. You're in a theta state with your brain and that doorway to the subconscious is wide open. There's no longer like when we are in beta, like right now I'm probably in beta because I'm making this video, I'm like concentrating. When we are in beta, are like the gateway, that door is closed. But when we're in delta sleep, theta, and those hypnagogic and hypnopompic states, say it's akin to sleep, that's where your subconscious mind is wide open and that's why it's so powerful because our subconscious mind pulls 95% of our reality. Okay, so I don't wanna make this video too long, but what he says is the best time to impregnate your subconscious is prior to sleep. The reason for this is that the highest degree of outcropping of the subconscious occurs prior to sleep and just after we awaken. In this state, the negative thoughts and imagery which tend to neutralize your desire and so prevent acceptance by your subconscious mind no longer present themselves. When you imagine the reality of the fulfilled desire and feel the thrill of accomplishment, your subconscious brings about the realization of your desire. So it wasn't just Neville Goddard that talked about this. The Bible talks about it. 
Joseph Murphy talks about it. All the teachers of the ages talked about this. Lastly, here's a success story of this method. The following will clearly illustrate how a young girl overcame the conflict between her desire and her imagination. She desired a harmonious solution to her legal problem, yet her mental image imagery was constantly on failure, loss, bankruptcy, and poverty. It was a complicated lawsuit and there was one postponement after another with no solution in sight. At my suggestion, she got into a sleepy, drowsy state each night prior to sleep and she began to imagine the happy ending, feeling it to the best of her ability. She knew that the image in her mind had to agree with her heart's desire. Prior to sleep, she began to dramatize as vividly as possible, her lawyer having an animated discussion with her regarding the outcome. She would ask him questions and he would answer her appropriately. He would say to her over and over again, there has been a perfect harmonious solution. The case has been settled out of court. This is so important because she was like, she was living in the end. She was imagining the end. And during the day when fear thoughts came into her mind, she would run her mental movie with gestures, voice and sound equipment. Sound equipment. She could easily imagine the sound of his voice, voice, smile, and mannerism. She ran this mental picture so often it became, became a subjective pattern, a regular train track. At the end, her attorney called her and confirmed objectively what she had been imagining and feeling as true subjectively. So when I tell you, you can resolve any problem that you have with this method, any doubts that you're having, any fears, body like health problems like whatever it is that you want if you want a new house if you want a new car if you want just to be get out of depression be happy and healthy um be more fulfilled in your career in your relationships like whatever it is that you want this is how you're going to get it so this is my exact method you can steal my exact manifestation blueprint right now this is how i do it to do it in less than three days. What I would do is I would go into a state akin to sleep. I would visualize whatever it is that I wanted and I would imply all my five senses. If you go into the meditations that we do on this channel where we imply all of our five senses, people get results in literally 24 hours. Like it's not even like three days. So. I have like a cat hair and it's like really itching me. I apply all five senses. How does it feel? How does it taste? Well, taste is not always apply applicable. Apply whatever is best for you. How does it taste? How, what, like what smells are in the air? What are you feeling on your skin? Where are you? Like where are your surroundings? What are you seeing? And what are you hearing ar around you? Make it as vivid as possible and don't force it. Don't use willpower, just use whatever is easiest for you, okay? If certain things don't come easy to you, don't use it, just use whatever is easiest for you. Live in the end. What scene would imply that this would have already happened, okay? So you're going to imagine this every time that you go to sleep. If you fall asleep fast, go into a position like you can either sit up in your bed right before you sleep or get into a position where you just wouldn't fall asleep easily. Um, I suggest doing this Honestly, I never did it for more than 10 minutes. You can do it longer, but I would say five to 10 minutes. And then the only thing that, and then what I do differently from you know, what Neville Goddard says is during the day, I use affirmations that also imply what it is that I want. So in this, Neville Goddard said, you know, to prove his point, he was like, just use the opposite affirmation and it will still happen but we want to maximize our manifestation powers for this to happen. So you're going to start affirming as if it had already happened. So whatever that is for you, if that is, you know, I'm so happy that I live in my dream home now. I love, I'm so happy that this deal went through. I'm so grateful and happy. Oh my God, it's finally happening for me. It's finally here. I'm so happy. This was so easy. I manifest so easily. Everything literally always works out for me. You can also become more specific. I'm kind of like using more general statements, 
because I don't know exactly what your situation is. Um, but you can be very specific for this. You can even have conversations in your mind as this woman had with her lawyer. Just start having conversations in your mind because your mental diet is what will reflect into your reality, okay? So this is how you manifest in less than three days. Let me know in the comments below how it goes for you. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video.